Hello, my name is Fazal Moedin. In this video demonstration, I'll demonstrate how to bring in storyline characters, including Jamal, into different software, including Camtasia, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, it doesn't matter. So how do you do it? First, go to your Articulate 360 panel here and make sure you download Studio 360. The reason why you need to download Studio 360 is because it's important for the next step. The next step is open up PowerPoint, and once you have the Studio 360 downloaded, you'll notice that you now have the Articulate tab. This is not available prior to the download. All right, so uh, because we are now at the step, let's go ahead and select all the text boxes and delete them so we can have a clear canvas. Let me close out of this Design Ideas panel. All right, next, let's go to Characters. Uh, you, you'll be asked to uh, save at this point in order to bring up the Character panel. For some reason, there's a save required. Just save it somewhere. Sure, there's that. And a few seconds later, you should be prompted with the Articulate Characters Control Panel or Characters Panel. Here it is. So here's Jamal, the character I've chosen. I'm going to go to Pose, scroll down, and select the Sitting Typing Pose at left. Okay, insert. There he is. Notice the quality from Articulate to PowerPoint. It's intact. That's excellent. Okay, so next let's go ahead and insert an image for the background. This is unnecessary. Um, if you don't need this, but if you do want a background image or add something to it, you'll you'll be able to do that. And you'll notice that uh, before I add that image in there, the space between the, the padding space between uh, Jamal and the border here, it's transparent, which is excellent. So let's go ahead and add in an image. So let's add in a desk. And this desk, this really this image, I got from freepick.com and I will add in the uh, license in the description for download. Nonetheless, let me go ahead and fit this to the canvas. Okay, it looks fully transparent, so I'm gonna reduce the transparency. And how do I do that? I'm gonna insert in a shape, drag this across the canvas size. Obviously it's blue. Let's right click, format the shape, the fill color, I'll leave it as solid and then select white. The transparency value, I'm gonna go with the 70%. It's subjective, go with whatever works for you. Minimize the fill, open up the line, no line. And that's pretty much it there. Close out of the format shape panel. Okay, and then we're going to send this to the back. There we are, now Jamal is in the front and we have some contrast between Jamal and the background. All right, so I'm gonna center him here about, right there is good. I'm just eyeballing it from desk height from the background to where he is in the foreground. Okay, that looks good enough for me. Let me go ahead and full screen this. And this is how we'll get the image. So notice on the bottom left, actually it's gone now, but PowerPoint's little control panel um, shows up for the first few seconds and it goes away on its own. Once it does, press print screen, then hit escape to get out of this. Type in paint in uh, the search bar here. Uh, control V. And now you have a full intact image. Let me go ahead and save it. I'll save it as version five because I've done this before through trial and error. All right, now I have that image. Uh, I can now, let's go back to Camtasia, which is where I'm recording. Uh, click into the import panel and then bring in character five or version five. And it's right here. I'll superimpose them right here. And notice the quality is intact. And this is the same step if I had brought in through Premiere Pro like I did in, in Premiere Pro's panel or if I just opened it straight into Photoshop. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. Take care.